I've decided to pull the trigger. I have been waiting for so long and I cannot find anything. So I was talking to a guy, uh, David, who works here. He uh, put me on to Andrew and uh, he's gonna actually do this build for me. So that's an ultra light, what do you call it? Blank that we've got right here, seven foot long. Uh, for those of you that watch the channel religiously, you know that I'm using a five foot ultra light, which is, uh, I can't really get any leverage to whip out those small lures. So this right here is gonna be a, a game changer for me. I cannot wait. has been toying with me all morning long. This is a healthy looking trout right here. Oh gosh, she's got some fillets. Mm, girl, you looking good, baby. You got some beautiful fillets on you. So, for those of you that follow my Instagram and Facebook, this is the new rod right here. That custom. Let's see how long this girl is and then we'll get her back on her way while we talk. But uh, that is the new rod and it felt absolutely gorgeous. That's a 16, a little over 16 inch speckled trout. Get out of here. Um, it felt good. There is a lot to love, not like, but love about this rod that I'm using. It's phenomenal. It's got the action of a spinning rod, a light action spinning rod, but it's a bait caster, extra light action. Super freaking awesome. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a gar. Dude, he was after my lure too. He came straight to the kayak, and as soon as he saw me, I mean, I got a good look at him. So that's probably what it is that's blowing up on the sides, and that's why I can't catch him. I thought that was redfish. Oh, got a good look at him. That was a really big blow up that he did. It's not the reds. Well, that's gonna save me a lot of heartache and discontent here I am thinking it was a bunch of redfish I'm pretty sure at least one of them blow-ups I've seen this morning had to have been a red I definitely know I've seen some trout but uh, that was a stupid little gar and uh, that's not what I want to catch oh no that's a red that is a red. If I ever seen one, that is one. Got a really good look at him. Just gotta keep my eyes open for the shrimp. Once I see the shrimp and the small little minnows, there it goes. Yeah, yeah, that is him. Oh man, on the bug. That is him. Oh yes. Here we go, this is the test. This is what I was wondering about this rod. Was it gonna be able to handle a slot? Oh, that is a beautiful redfish. Oh, yes, baby. Get over here, son. You may as well call it quits, bruh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I saw him bust up in the grass and everything. God, I love the action of this rod. I mean, look at that fin. Oh, we got a nice, beautiful redfish right here. Get in there, baby. Oh, yes. Oh, son, you messed up. Gave himself away. Look at this. 
Look at that beautiful bug right there in his mouth. Gosh, such a beautiful fish. We ain't keeping him, so we're gonna wet this board and then we'll put him back. But look at that. That is a beautiful, beautiful redfish. So let's get this guy measured and then off he goes. Oh, wow. 23 and three quarter right there. Let's get this guy released back inside that water man he swallowed it there we go look at that beautiful redfish yeah all right son go ahead catch that breath they're all strawberry colored too you let me know when you're ready there he goes oh my gosh that's all I need one fish like that and I'm golden. That is enough to set me up until my next day on the water. This rod is, I mean, it's everything I wanted in a rod. The rod, I mean, the bend, it just looks phenomenal. Even if I'm gonna fight a small little tiny fish, that bend is gonna be there. My wrists, they do not take a beating. I'm able to cast with one hand, cast behind me, cast overhand. I mean, you name it, I can do it with it. And check it out, it's a bait caster that I'm using to get this little guy out there to the reds. Tiny little hothead bug right there. Who taking it to him. That trash out of the marsh there's like really no trash here at all this marsh is really pristine there's really no trace of humans actually coming in here so that's one of the like main reasons why I love coming here is because you're here with nature and nothing else no human footprint at all so when you see stuff like that try to help it out and pick that up so that the next person that rolls through is gonna be able to enjoy it just the way I enjoy it Oh, look at that, baby. I was about to call it quits. And then I'm staring at this crab right over here. Next thing you know, this little beady mud chicken. <laughs> I'm over here thinking to myself, there ain't gonna be nothing out here. I'm about to have to turn around, call it quits. And we get a little mud chicken to bite on the little hothead. Check that out. Buddy, you couldn't have come at a better time because you're gonna keep me out here just a little bit longer. Mr. Strawberry Mud Chicken. Thank you for playing, big fella. Don't tell him he's little, even though he is. He's probably like 16 inches. Ah, oh, what a spectacular day. The only rod that I came out here with the intent on using is this one right here. The custom made one from Andrew and uh, it has performed beyond my expectations. I would love to have the blank show through right here so that I can feel everything. You can still feel the thumps and you know everything that's going to hit. I was able to feel the oyster and the grass but uh, this thing when it doubles over it is just I don't know. It, 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 I don't even know how to explain it. It's like when you see it doubled over, that's what everybody wants to see whenever they're catching fish. And the fact that it's an extra light rod uh, makes it all better. Um, I had a great time, you know, testing it out a good, close to 24 inch red, man, that is awesome. And then right now the winds have just picked up. So I'm getting ready to have to turn right back around and make my way to the launch. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I sure did enjoy catching some fish on the new rod. I don't want to put it down at all. It's going to take forever for me to just reach behind and grab one of these. So again, thank you for watching. I appreciate the support. If you like the video, thumbs up, please. And until next time, tight lines, everyone.